this is the plaintiff, Christina Lewis. <laughs> uh, Steph has got summoned to go on jury duty. Got jury duty tomorrow, and I'm hoping it's juicy. You got summoned <clears throat> yet again to yet go again to is, jury is duty. Yet again is the key. I feel like I get summoned way more than the normal population. I feel like I get it every year. Yeah, so Steph does get summoned a lot. I do. I don't. I've been summoned a few times when I was on a trial one time, and Steph was on a trial one time when she yeah. was when she was a child. I was young. I was like 18. <laughs> and it was in Reno. And then I moved to California and I got summoned for jury duty once I got my California license. I got summoned right away. And I'm like, I just served on a jury in another state and I got out of it. <laughs> Let you out because you said that? It, yeah, it's, it says that. Like, oh, you, if you serve If you have within, served but like in another state or something. Or within a county. certain amount of time. Yeah, I think you got three years off or whatever. I don't remember what it was. I've gotten it a bunch of times since. I've, I've got it to where most of the time it's just I call in and I don't have to go in and that considers serve. So. In California, you get a thing and, and then it, in the mail. And then it tells you call in on this date. I had to go in twice, but uh, the other ones, which were only a couple other ones, I called in and it said call tomorrow, call tomorrow, like maybe three days of calling. And then it says you've served, like that counts as being yeah. you served. Yeah. And that's how it's done in California. Is that everywhere? Well, I guess you on the other ones, calls. I've gotten called in and I, I call and it tells you, you have to go in. So you go in. And then you get in the big waiting room with all the people. Yep. And then they just didn't call me that day. So I got to go home and I was done. I served. One of them, I got called and you go in the main room and they're going to ask you questions. And then they settled. So didn't have that And that was case. over. And then another one, or maybe two, I've gotten where they ask you all the questions and um, decide who they're going to pick. And then one of them, I don't know, they picked their whole panel and I wasn't on it or whatever. So I've gotten it all different, varied stages of right. it. But I feel like most of the time I don't have to go in but I have served on a few cases. Or you get, not you didn't serve on a few cases, you've- um, They settled or whatever before oh, it went to court. But you get you get summoned a lot. Yes. Hmm. I do, so I, I hope if I have to go, I get a juicy, juicy, fun, captivating case. Yeah. Not something boring like- um, If you're gonna, if you're gonna be on one, yeah, you would probably want one. I don't want be. too many traffic tickets or whatever, that kind of thing. I don't know what it'll be about, but <laughs> I don't want to sit through that. Right. I want some crime scene photos and some juicy witnesses and some exciting true I, crime stuff. I would want to have it be, the murder trial I was on was like <clears throat> a little over a week and it was cut, yeah, he got a murder cut, one. cut and dry, but there was no drama to it. It was very obvious. But the, um, I would like to have one that would be like a, uh, what was the lawyer, the TV lawyer, where he would solve the case like while they were questioning? Monk? <laughs> no, it was a TV lawyer. I can't think of the name of the show. Oh, Matlock or something? Whatever. There's been many. Yeah. Like Perry Mason or somebody mm -hmm. like that, where they're, you're in there and then they're asking questions and they, you There's get, a smoking gun. You get somebody like... to confess. How do you guys do it? Because I know there's people in other countries. Does, does everybody have a jury? My friend Erica is a, an attorney, was actually just retired, but she's a prosecutor and she w couldn't believe how many jurors we get to pull from. So they'll get like the whole courtroom full. She's in then, Nevada. <clears throat> or one, yeah. She was a lawyer in Nevada. And they'll pick their 12 plus the alternates or whatever from this big pool. It'll be a bunch of people, like a hundred people or something. It seems like yeah. a lot. But I did call in and I do have to go in. So well, this is that's, being on a jury. You are actually participating in an important part of our country's, you know, legal, like our, our legal system. Like you are participating as a citizen I know. In, in our legal I'm process. I'm taking it very seriously. My first case that I got on was a pedophile case, a convicted mm. pedophile who got out and then had another incident. So... We heard from the first victim. She was a grown woman with kids and stuff at that point. He like kidnapped her. He like grabbed her oh in goodness. a car or whatever. Yeah. All and right. well, I hope this one isn't a, isn't that type. Well, it was even crazier. It was the, it was really sad. His circumstances. He, um, I mean, I can't say it was 
sad. He made choices, but he was pretty much doomed from the beginning. He grew up in the streets. He was abandoned. But he and his sister or whatever got pulled into some sort of a sex ring. Oh, jeez. I know. As a kid, as a little kid, and had to do um, porn as a kid. That's what this guy grew uh, up with. And they made him have sex with other kids as a kid man. for videos. Disgusting. There's people that kill and then you hear about their, their, like the trial I was on, it was a young, it was a very young kid. And... The murderer. Yeah, the murderer. But was it was a, gangs. It was gangs. And all the, all the witnesses, they were, they were bringing witnesses out of prison, like his dad, his brothers. They were coming from prison to testify. The, the victim, there was two brothers. One, he shot one and killed him and shot the other one and he didn't die. It turns out that guy, he was a witness too. And then at the end of the case, we find out that he's, he's on trial for murder elsewhere. The, the brother that survived is on trial for murder. Mm -hmm. Everybody in there, it was just, it was generations of gangs and violence and drugs and all that stuff. And when you see that, like you're saying, you know, like the, the story the of that guy. Of, yeah, he's doomed. Well, you see, yeah, you see that guy and you're like, as a kid, when you would look at him, you go, man, this is horrific what this kid went through. Just like the one that we, the jury we were on where he got convicted, he was a child. Yeah. You know? And he, and it, that's but, hard but you to killed put somebody. Away because you know it was his circumstances. If he'd been raised in a different home with different things, he would have been a different kid. And so he has to go. I mean, yeah. he's making choices, but you don't make choices as a kid. You just, that, you know, it's such a big impact on somebody's life. But yeah. it's hard. Some things are super hard to consider Once. at all. And you realize you have somebody's, the fate of their life, their future in your hands. That's a hard thing. That's tough. To think about what others, yeah, you their feel life it. circumstances and how lucky we are to have the ones that we had. Yep. You feel bad for them, but you can't. You There's also, like, my pedophile guy people. that I was on his case. He had a sister or whatever. There were their kids in the thing, and that doesn't mean they were all doing it, too. The judge came in after our trial and asked us uh, how he did. He was a new judge. He wanted to know, you know, um, what we thought about him as a judge and if he was impartial, blah, blah, blah. And we got to ask him questions like, why were there so many holes in the story? Like, mm. it, it was a really, really, really lousy case. Both, both sides didn't care to be there. Like both attorneys were awful. And um, there were so many holes that we had so many questions and we couldn't ask questions. But the judge told us it's because he had 10 other pending cases. Oh my goodness. That's why. So they couldn't tell All right. why they even found this person. And uh, you know, it just stuff. It was crazy. Let's end it on a high note. <laughs> okay, so Steph's gonna go to jury duty. She's <laughs> hoping for she doesn't want to want not do, do jury duty. She wants to, to serve and she wants to be on a case where it'll be like the cases that we watch on TV, like something like that. Yeah, but I do. I don't want to I, hope, boring I hope that you get something that's not traumatic. I want trauma. And, trauma. Oh, jeez. Somebody's got to be on it. You might as well have it be me who's not going to sit there and, you know, think about it and dwell on it and be damaged by it all the rest of their life. Put me on there. I'll just get over it. It won't be no big deal. When I was on the murder trial, they have a police officer come in there that was like the gang, like part of a gang task force. Yeah. And he starts telling us what's going on in that community. All, oh. the, all the murders, all the shootings, all the, just all these things. And we're listening to it. And the place is like an hour from where we live right now. There's outlet malls, like people go there shopping. And when we went on a break, I called Steph <laughs> and I said, you were never going to those outlet malls again, ever. I said, do not. <laughs> I was just like so shocked It's a safe afraid. outlet mall. Like it looks normal and the town's fine. But who knew all this was going on it's, that close? No, it was, it was, so that, that's how it affected me being like hearing all that stuff and being like, what? I was so shocked at everything that was going on over there. There's some horrific Tourette traumatic stuff that people have to experience on trials. Put me on you, that case. You just want a fun one. No. Fun? Yeah. Like a fun case. Like, you know, just something that's you like know, dramatic. Like some comedian or something is making too like many Johnny jokes Depp's. and somebody got Johnny, Johnny Depp's case. That is not fun for Johnny Depp. He seemed like he was having a good time. Oh. 
<laughs> he seemed like he was. Because people were believing him. Well, he was funny and... He was getting to say his, yeah. his story, finally let it be heard. But, but anyway, I, Steph's going to be on a jury. Well, possibly on a jury. A juicy she one. wants to be on I a good one. I don't want a boring one that's like contracts or something. Have you ever been on a trial? Did you, were you on a good one? And do you guys get summoned that way where you get it in the mail and then you just have to call in until they tell, and then they'll tell you it's automated. You don't even talk to somebody. You call in, tell them your, your number, and then they'll, there's an automation that says, call in tomorrow, call in tomorrow, or report. How are your guys done? That is one thing too. Like there's hardships yeah. where you can get out of it with your hardships, but boy, do they not let those slide. Like the judge. Oh, when people want to. Well, people go <laughs> in there with their it. hardship and they'll um, have it all prepared and stuff and go in front of the judge and the judge just like talks them out of it and yeah. basically guilts them in and says, yes. no, you can handle this sort of thing. Yes. And you have to end up going. So there's really not a lot of true hardships that you couldn't possibly change yeah. to be able to do your duty and serve. I've said that a yes. lady, a lady said that she, her family were all cops. Her and husband and her dad, I think yeah. is what it was, were cops. She comes from a whole family and line of cops. Do you think you could be impartial? And they say yes, but she said she could not be impartial. Yeah. She said, because nobody makes it this far without being guilty. <laughs> That's yeah. what she said. She's been around it so much, she knows nobody makes it that far without being guilty. And she could have just been saying that for all we know, but. I know, but that one worked. Yeah, and I think it would work. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know sure? if the oh, judge is, Yeah, even if the judge isn't going to excuse you, you know both, well, actually not both sides, but the defense side is picking you to be one that gets kicked off. You're yeah. not going to be on their jury. Keep your fingers crossed that she gets on the jury because she wants to, and let us know your jury experience. Enjoy your life. See you later.